So a lot of people have asked us about bringing pH down. Uh, we've already done a video on bringing pH up, so I'm going to chat really quick about bringing your pH down. So the reality of this situation with bringing pH down is that it's usually not worthwhile, and that's just the hard, honest truth. Um, oftentimes when people are struggling with a system that maintains a really high pH, what they're really struggling with is carbonates. Uh, carbonates that have built up in their system and hard water that they're topping off with. And uh, the fact that their nitrification, which naturally acidifies the water, can't quite outstrip the addition of carbonates to their system. So a lot of people then ask, how do I bring it down? Because it's really important that I bring my pH down into a reasonable range and it's staying really high. And uh, that's a hard question to, to answer. You can use things like phosphoric acid or some of these other uh, big uh, industrial acids that hydroponic user, or growers use. But I'm not entirely comfortable with that, especially for most people that are doing this on a hobby level. You can buy these acids, um, but they get pretty darn expensive over time. And the reality is you have to buy them in relatively unconcentrated forms because the concentrated forms are really dangerous. So here's a few steps that you can take to lower your pH, naturally and simply. You can use things, uh, acids, if you really want to, but I, I would recommend against it. I would recommend just waiting it out. The most important thing you can do to control your pH is to start putting in pH neutral or carbonate free water. And um, that is the single most important thing that you can do to control your system pH in the long term. Because your system, when it's being fed appropriately, when your nitrification cycle is complete, will be naturally acidifying. So they're constantly becoming more and more acidic. Over time, it drops down into the range where we want it. Which, you know, we recommend somewhere between six and seven. Uh, preferably in the 6.2 to 6.6 .6 range. Somewhere in there is a great range for your plants and your fish will be just fine too. Um, so controlling the pH of your water oftentimes though requires either collecting rainwater, so you're collecting water that is already pH neutral or fairly close to pH neutral, or you are installing an RO filter. And this is kind of a, a hard medicine to take because RO filters, they can cost a couple hundred bucks. And um, you know, they're, they're, not, they're not a cheap option. But in the end, when you compare that to adding a lot of acid to your system and constantly measuring your pH and just struggling and struggling and struggling, to bring your pH down, an RO filter is well worth the investment. Once you can control the pH of your water coming into your system, you'll find that your system naturally and effectively drops in pH down into the range that is perfect for your plants and perfect for your fish. And don't worry, if your pH lingers kind of it's still in the mid sevens, unless you're a big time commercial producer, it's just not that huge of a deal. It's something that you can wait out. With time, most systems acidify unless there's a lot of high pH water or high carbonate water going into the system as you top off. So there you go, that's kind of the, the, uh, the ugly truth about bringing your pH down in your system. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask and we'll do our best to answer them. Uh, but by and large, the best answer is just being patient, waiting, and controlling your water pH. If you found this video useful, please check out our vertical food blog or subscribe.